In Onshape, you can measure your mass properties quickly and easily. Here I am in a part studio. To measure my mass properties, I will go to the lower right hand corner of the screen. There is an icon that looks like scales. I will click on it. This opens up the mass and section properties dialog box. Right now we are on the part tab. You have a face tab for measuring your section mass properties, but I'm going to stay on the part tab. Then we have our field where we can select which parts that we want to measure. I just have one part in this part studio. You can select it from the parts list or right from your graphics area. And here we have the different values being shown to us. Note that you do need to have a material assigned first before you can see your mass properties. If you did not assign a material, then this dialog box would be empty of values. So let's take a look at what we have calculated. We have our mass, we have our volume. By the way, you will note that this goes out to more digits than is shown in the dialog box. If you click on the value, you can see all those different digits. Here we have our surface area. Then we have our center of mass. Note that this center of mass is measured relative to the origin of our part studio. And then down at the bottom, we have our mass moments of inertia. This is good. Let me close the dialog box. You can also take a look at your mass properties in an assembly. Let me go to a different tab. I will click on all tabs, then go to my engine assembly. And then to measure the mass properties, we will go to the same icon, the scales in, lo in the lower right hand corner. And this time I will select the instances that I want to measure. So for example, I will click that part and this part and this part. And so you can select multiple different parts, multiple different instances of components. There's also a field here for the mate connector for the reference frame, and that pertains to your mass moments of inertia. By default, these are going to be calculated with respect to the common centroid of the different parts that you have selected. But instead, you could use either an explicit or implicit mass, excuse me, mate connector to use as the reference for that mass moment of inertia. And once again, you can see on the screen where that would be located, where your center of gravity is. And we have our mass and our volume surface area and our location of our center of mass relative to our origin. Let me grab this and move this aside. Right now my origin is hidden so I can display that as well. So this is good in the assembly. You might notice that we also have these different boxes for overriding the value. Right now, these are not available in the assembly. Let me go to a different part studio. Here I have a part that was created by importing a step file and then doing a Boolean to add everything together. And there is a material sign here, it's, it's aluminum. Once again, I can go to the scales in the lower right hand corner, and then I can select this part and it gives me the mass. But again, this is imported and it's probably made of a bunch of different materials rather than calculating based on the volume and the density that's assigned. I've probably set this on a scale and measured the value that it should use. So in this case, I want to override the mass value. And let's say that I found out that this value is actually 0 0.027 kilograms. I can enter in that information and that is my new mass value. The other values updated appropriately, like for my mass moments of inertia. And so I'm happy with all of this. I will hit, oh yeah, by the way, you note, you can note that you can also override the location of the center of mass if you have a method of measuring that as well. So let's hit the check mark in order to close the mass properties dialog box. So that is how you can measure your mass properties in a part studio 
and also an assembly and also override different values.